Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, JDL Slasher. Wanted to bring out a video um, just to kind of keep it going a little bit. You know, nothing's really happened. Um, tank still, same thing it was a week, week and a half ago. Still haven't got anything started to show a sign of my cycle yet. So uh, still waiting, but it's all good. I'm kind of trying to do this natural way rather than provoking it or anything like that. So uh, we'll see how it goes and I'm patient. So I'm enjoying it, watching it every day, looking for new new things to come out of live rock. Some found some some unwanted enemies that I ordered some some stuff to, to take care of those. And I found a snail, which was cool. And I got copiopods that are that are growing in there and doing well and uh it's all it's all coming around we'll get there someday but it's uh just a quick video here i wanted to do and it's going to be more of a of a equipment goodies video some of the stuff that i've picked up uh mostly in the last few days in the last week or so total um again if you guys didn't know or didn't see my other videos this is my first reef tank i used to do uh freshwater fish but i haven't had a freshwater tank in 15 years so I didn't have anything so I'm having to buy all new stuff and, and get back all the little things that uh, come in handy so these are just a few things that I've bought that I'm going to need here uh, soon recently or, or soon uh, or recently <coughs> excuse me uh, that I'm going to need to uh, get some of the things I'm, I got going on here so uh, to start off we'll just go around the table here my goodies table and, and show a few of the things and again this is just a fun video for to kind of fill in the time so uh Obviously, I got my gravel cleaner that I purchased when I when I first swapped from the uh, the Bio Cube to the Nuvo. I use this, so it's not in the package no more. But this little bit is what I'll be using for my, my water changes, um, <clears throat> so that should do real well. I bought some scrapers. Uh, I bought this one because I wanted something to actually be able to go down into the tank. Um, I'll show you why. I still don't know if you can see it. Let me get my flashlight. We're gonna go ahead and pre-zoom you in. So if you see down in there, ooh, camera, come on camera, where you at? See that? Come on, focus. Focus. All right, there's some really green mucky stuff. You can kind of see it there going a little bit. See all that junky stuff? I don't know if that's what that is, if it's, if it's algae or... Let's see if I can get it on the fucking camera, this damn thing. There we go. What it is, but it's it's nucky, nucky stuff, nasty. So I'm gonna take my little brush and scrape that. See if I can't get it off there. That might start my ammonia cycle. You never know. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So back to the goodies table. So that's what I bought this for. Oops, let me zoom back out. There we go. The little scraper for a tank when I need to do that type of stuff. I bought this because uh, I got some more live rock that's going to be coming in here soon. It's actually been told it was going to ship out today, so I should be having it here in a few days. Uh, it was delayed because of the storm. So this is to scrub it. It's only pre-cured, so I'm going to have to cure it. So this is to scrub it. Um, most of the stuff's from Walmart, so just cheap stuff. That was like two bucks. Uh, this is really cool. I got this from PetSmart, and it's an algae scraper. Really long one. It's got a really nice rubber handle. It's nice, good plastic. And it's got a plastic cover for the blade. It's got a really nice blade on there. It's got a little edge to it. So hopefully that'll be real well when I start battling my algae. Put this back on real quick. <clears throat> uh, this was only six bucks. And I've seen these things that are a lot cheaper looking, a lot, you know, no blade cover, nothing at other places for nine and ten dollars. Um, but this is a top fin uh, aquarium scraper, I think it's called. Very cool pickup. Uh, I bought a couple of these. Um, one I just wanted to see really, one of them is actually sitting over there because it kept coming off the edge of the glass, but uh, I just wanted to see how, how much my temperature fluctuates in my tank. Um, it does fluctuate between probably 71 and 76 degrees, depending on if I have the doors open like I do now and or if it's cool or whatever. So I live in the south, so it stays fairly warm, um, but it'll be a test because I, I like to keep my, my room around 66, 67 degrees in the winter time. <clears throat> so, uh oh, there I am. Oh well. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna definitely need a heater, which I have a, a future purchase for the the Cobalt um, Neotherm uh, heater. It's been rated really well, so that's gonna be my heater that's gonna go in there. 
Uh, going back to the equipment down here, what else we got? Uh, I guess we'll go over to the salt. Uh, I picked up some cool little buckets. Um, this bucket is going to be for my uh, salt mixing and uh, eventually maybe for my RO water once I get my, my roadie machine, which is going to be my next ma major purchase. I just kind of try to add it up all the different times that I'm going to be buying RO water and how much it costs. And, you know, a, a roadie machine will definitely cover the cost of it in the first year. It'll cover its, its cost in, in one year's time. And then from there on out, it's it's saving me money. So definitely worth it. But this one is, is really nice. I liked it. And it's only like a dollar more. It's like four bucks because it does have, you know, three and a half gallon on there, three gallons. So I'm just going to put me a little four gallon line on here and then I can, you know, measure out my salt uh, properly, my mixture. Uh, so I'll do four gallons and then I have all these tubs over here, these these holders that I'm going to be storing it in. That's all RO water right now. Uh, but I'll be storing all my RO water and salt water in that, my pre-made salt water. And then uh, <clears throat> there's a couple more tubes. So I've got that and I got the instant ocean um, for as much water changes and things I'm going to be doing. I found it best just to buy the big 160 gallon tub. Uh, it was on sale at PetSmart for a $38 and some change. So I got a really good deal on that. That should last me probably until this time next year, as long as it stays uh, stays fresh and doesn't get hardened up. There's my little 10 gallon bucket. That's going to be for my live rock when it comes in. <clears throat> I'm going to stick it in there to cure it. Uh, I'm going to have this little cheap little $50 or $50, 50 watt uh, heater that I bought on eBay for $9, I think. So uh, I'm just going to heat it with that. I'm going to drop this little thermostat in there and make sure we're doing good on temperature. I bought this little cheap uh, JVP 101, I think it was $14, uh, Wave Maker. And it's going to be what's going to keep the, the flow going in there. I think it's a uh, 3,000, I can't remember what the output is of it. I was going to look before I made the video, but I forgot to look. So sorry about that. I think it's, you know, it's efficient for what I need to do. So. I flipped the box out and just set the box up of my PP8 that I purchased at JVO, and that's actually in the tank and uh, controls right there. That thing's fantastic. I love it so far. Uh, it's a lot more powerful than I thought it would be, so I probably definitely could have gotten away with the PP4 uh, and, and just have two of the PP4s. I'm going to go ahead and get another PP4 or get a PP4 and have it with the PP8, but uh, it definitely is um, it's definitely powerful. I got it on um, wave mode right now. and. You know, it's, it's barely moving the rocks, but uh, for the sand. But if I put it on a continuous, and I got it all the way down, uh, if I put it on a continuous mode, it, it stirs this all up right here. You can actually see it's moving it right now. So you can see the little hills that it's built. And that's uh, that's all the way down and all the way down on the speed. So, but you know, I might have to move it around a little bit to adjust it if it messes up the sand too much. I think once I get, <clears throat> you know, corals and things in there, it'll, it's gonna, not going to hit down there as well. So we'll be good. I hope. Uh, I got me a spoon to mix my salt with. I'm going to be doing a video of making the salt. Uh, I don't know if I'll do it tonight. I got to watch Walking Dead tonight. My boss told me, you got to watch Walking Dead so we can talk about it tomorrow. So I got to watch Walking Dead. And then, uh, so I'll be making a video of me making salt, which I've never done before, but why not make a video of it? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a newbie. I've read about it and watched some videos on how to do it. So I should be doing it right. And if I didn't do it right, then all y'all can tell me I didn't do it right. And that'll be a learning lesson. Uh, so that's about that part. Uh, this is my my self-purchased, my self-purchased. What can I call it? My uh, own little creation for my. I can never say this word right. The accumulation process for when I get my fish and corals and things. I got this little cheap thing at like dollar seventy-five at Walmart for my tubing. Uh, this was uh, at Petco for ninety-nine cents. It'll be my control to be able to do the drip. And this tub was at uh, was like a dollar ninety eight or something at Walmart, and uh, I like it because it's got measurements on there, so I know how much water I'm gonna. I'll basically be pouring my bag with my fish into here, and I'll know how much water's in there, and that way I know when I've doubled that amount of water uh, with my accumulation. Yeah, that my drip process. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for you know, for. A total of roughly about four dollars and fifty cents, I think, something like that. I'm not doing quick math, but uh, I, I made my own little drip thing, and I think you can buy them online. You know, the, the pre-made ones from the fish companies for ten and twelve dollars, but you know, there's four bucks. So this is kind of a budget budget reefer for me. Well, I'm definitely a budget reefer. I'm trying to save every penny I can anywhere I can. 
Now these are my knobs. This is my knob I'm going to put on my door. I think it should go on there pretty cool. So it'll be easier for me to grab a hold of. And then these, we're going to try them out. I couldn't find any plastic ones, but I'm going to uh, put these on the lid here. Like so. I'm going to try to glue them. And uh, that way I can pick up my lid real easily because it's a pain in the ass to get it up out of, out of this crease right here. Anybody has a Nuvo 40 and has the lid, they know what I'm talking about. It's, it's a pain in the butt. So uh, we're going to put those on there and hopefully they stay and work and we won't worry about filling with it no more. I think that's about it. We're going to do a, a video on, on making some salt. Uh, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, and then we're going to do a video once my rock comes in of me preparing it and getting it ready for uh for curing so and then uh, that'll be about it i don't know uh anything about any more stuff i'm thinking about my light is, has been canceled so my light is on hold um two reasons uh i'm debating on whether to go in with the hd prime uh, or the aqua illuminations prime hd or if i want to go with this with this bigger brother the hydra 26. i think the prime would be sufficient but Again, I'm one that wants to make sure going down the road that I'm going to have more than I need in case, you know, that's that day I want to go with SPS or, you know, go with a different style fish that requires something totally unique. I don't know, but um, I, I'm undecided right now. It's $150 difference, $130 difference. So we'll see. Uh, I think I'm going to wait until Black Friday and then Black Friday might answer that question for me. Uh, the other thing is, is um, my my roadie system. I already know what I want. I want the BRS uh, supply roadie system. The most likely going to get the Water Saver 150. Uh, I think that's probably the best value for $240, and we'll see what it, what they do with it on, on Black Friday, if anything. So I'm kind of just holding off right now. I don't need a light. There's no reason for me to have a light. I don't need my heater, uh, which. I don't need, really don't need my roadie right away. I mean, I, I've got enough water here, I think, for, you know, I got 20 gallons roughly of, of RODI water now. About eight of that's going to be going into the bucket for the live rock uh, to cycle with. And I'll probably be using some more of that, but um, I can always get more until I get my roadie machine. So I think I can manage for another, what, one month come this Thursday, this Friday or whatever. So I'll be okay. But yeah, but that's going to be my major next purchase is the roadie system because that's going to save me money. And uh, this thing hasn't been crazy on, on water evaporation yet, but it, it's not really slow. I mean, I just filled that up to the rim last night, and it's about an inch down in the middle there. And then the center piece is where the center section is where it goes down real low, and, and it goes through it. Um, but I'm thinking about making my own little... I, I don't really require an auto... Uh, top off right now and I can't afford it. Maybe tax time I might look into one, but I think temporarily I'm gonna just build me a, a, a manual top off. I'm gonna uh, get me another get me another hose like this one here and a pump and uh, hook it up to um, a Switch on a plug on a I'm either gonna hook it up to a um, Surge protector. Or I'm gonna get me. I'm looking at getting me this. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's like an eight outlet switch electrical box that you can control all your different switches which will be nice down the road I can turn off my pumps and you know the the PPA has got the the feed button but I can turn off the actual tank pump if I wanted to when I do feeding and everything so that's down the road but I think I'm gonna get one of those but that'll allow me to turn on the, the pump and pump the, the water into there and uh, I'll do me a little setup with one of those with one of those buckets right there in the back and put a hose through the front of it and then you know use another hose to fill it up uh, at the same time, I need to refill it. So, I, you know, I do I do maintenance for a living. I'm the head, head engineer at where I work at. So, uh, I come up with a lot of little gadget ideas, and hopefully, uh, I'm sure everybody else has already done all these things. But they're new for me, and if they're not already out there, then maybe they're going to be new for somebody else, and maybe they'll might grab some of my ideas and and run with them. I know uh, I did the video already on the on the swivel for the for the stand, and uh, that worked out fantastic. So, um, but. I think I'm a little over what I originally was shooting for. I think my maximum is 15 minutes, so I better stop while I'm ahead. So uh, that's JDL Slasher. I'm out. Um, hopefully I'll get some more subscribers soon. Not too many now. I know I'm kind of boring. Not, nothing really going on, but uh, still trying to post some videos and stay active. So have a good one. Later.